chose Spain because in 2015 I did a study abroad in Madrid and I fell in love with the culture, with the people and just the ambiance of Spain is something so attractive. And so I decided that for a research project, which we're required to do in school, that I wanted to try to see if there are any um, researchers here in Spain. And fortunately, I was introduced to Dr. Roich, and here I am. <laughs> so when I was looking for a research project, what I was looking for was a research project that is innovative and different. And so I came across um, Dr. Roich through the recommendation of one of the doctors that used to work at my school and when I was looking through his papers I noticed a trend that was promoting this new method of practicing dentistry. Slow dentistry was something new to me, I had never heard of it, so I decided digging through articles, digging through other slow movements like slow medicine, tourism, food, to learn just more about what the whole movement encompasses. And um, so my impression of it has been extremely positive. I, of course, um, was a little bit skeptic as anybody would be, but um, again, researching upon it and then coming to the clinic to see how it works in person has really converted me into believing it's a concept that does work, there's data behind it, and I mean, I'm working with the data currently and I can see that it's something that's functioning. At my school, fortunately, we're taught from the beginning that we need to see the patient as a whole person as opposed to a subset of illnesses. And so what I did notice here is that's exactly what's done. There's a very strong doctor-patient relationship between the dentist and the patient. And that, again, is so attractive because the patient is seen as a person with culture, with you know different beliefs in medicines or treatments. And so instead of the dentist right away diving into the mouth of the patient to see what's wrong, they first question what the complaint is and what the patient wants to be done. And so it's a more holistic process. And although we're taught that in school, what happens is that with new dentists, um, and even older dentists, there's a huge patient volume that they try to go through and this philosophy of more is better. So they try to see more patients and go through more and more every single day and they lose this human touch. So the patient is no longer humanized. The patient is seen as teeth and teeth that have to be fixed and nothing beyond that. And so what I hope to take back with me is this idea of connecting with my patients first and foremost before treating their illnesses. And I think that builds a lot of trust. It, be, it builds loyalty with the patient. And if, if I wanted to treat my own mother, that's how I want somebody to treat her, to see her as a whole person and to see her as a complex system of medicine as opposed to a few cavities here and there. Quería decir gracias para esta oportunidad. He tenido un tiempo genial estar aquí y uh, me encanta España. Uh, espero que um, espero regresar en el futuro y tener más oportunidad con trabajar con el equipo aquí y también disfrutar la cultura. <laughs> sí.